Hello, my name is Joe, and what we're going to be looking at in our little Houdini adventure is how to create a simple rope bridge style bridge in Houdini. If you find this helpful, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more videos. And don't forget to check out my website, 3dassetlibrary.com, for Unreal and Unity Engine assets. So, what we're going to attempt to do is create something similar ish to this. Um, you can see here we've got our posts, um, it's beveled edges here on the posts, things like that. And um, hopefully, we get a little randomization in the plank length and things like that. So, yeah, let's get started. I'm just going to move this to my other uh, wind, uh, screen. We'll get there in a minute. So, what we'll do is we'll right click Geo for Geometry. We'll name this Rope Bridge. So, what we're going to do is, I think, for me personally, I'm going to use a curve to get this uh, angle here. So this will allow us to place a point here, a point at the end and a point in the middle. And then the point in the middle will allow us to dictate how much bow the bridge that will bend the bridge has in it um, and allow us to create, you know, if, if we wanted it more bent here, but not so bent there, things like that, we, we, we can control all of that. So what we'll do is we'll right go back to Houdini, um, right click curve and we'll name this bridge curve and then what we'll do is we'll just switch to the right viewport and we'll set to vertex snapping over here and we will uh, click and um, I'm just going to click in the say middle here and then click there and then press enter so now what we do is we've got our curve so if we drag that down we've got a oh, well, a triangle currently at the moment so what we'll do is we'll drag off the curve and type in a resample this is going to add more points. This will also be where our planks will snap to. And then what we can do is we can scroll down and change that to subdivision curve. So we've got now a more of a bend here. So what we'll do is we'll switch back. Well, actually, I'll show you here. So what we can do now is we can go back to our master curve. And you can see here we can now adjust, you know, the amount of bend in the bridge, where the bend happens most, you know, things like that. So that's good. And obviously we can change um, the length of our bridge too. So I might actually do that. Um, yeah, for, for ease sake, what I'll do is I will just snap these each point to a, a grid point. So there we go. So now when we look at that, we've got a, a curve there and um, we're happy with that. So now what we want to do is go back to our perspective view. So we're here. We want to get the start and end points. Oh, well, actually, first, what we'll do is we'll create our post here. So we've got our curve. So we'll right click tube and we'll name this post and select that to a polygon and we'll just switch over to here and we will add our end caps and we will drag off of here and type transform if I spell it right transform and we will resize it here so we will do say 0.1 uh, 0.1 and just see how that is into relation to our curve here. Uh, huge. So what we'll do is we'll just scale that down to there and say we'll maybe just bring that up a bit. Yes. Yeah, so there we go. Point two. And then we'll go back to post and we'll center this. So point five. So that means that it's always going to size up, not both ways. And so now we'll go back to here. And what we'll do is we want to, looking at our pictures, the ends are beveled. So what we will do is we will click on our mouse icon, click on our edges icon, double click. Oh, no, is it? Yeah, double click, hold shift, double click the bottom, tab, group. And then that's going to put it in a group here. So this is top bot edges and then we'll go to our name here as well group and then what we want to do is drag off of there poly bevel and just clear that drop down our edges here so you see the edges is just selected here so now in theory when we drag there we go we're getting a little bit of a, a bevel here and what we'll do is we'll just add another division in and there we go so we've got our very simple post here if i do that right there we go um just so you know i've turned on the points here by uh 
selecting these two and what we'll do was for the minute we'll just leave them off um, so now what looking at our bridge we've got some little ropes around um, our post here um, so so looking at our picture we've got as I say the ropes around here what we're going to do is um, we're just going to use a texture to simulate the um, rope here rather than using geometry currently um, you know rather than twisting say two tubes together and things like that to create the rope so we're, we're going to create a, probably a simple tube here and a simple tube here and then we'll texture these later to simulate that rope look so what we'll do is we'll go back to our post here and we will go do torus do we have a torus yeah so that's set to polygon and we want to obviously scale this right down transform um so what we will do here is um we want to obviously scale this down because it is a huge um 0.01.02 so there we're getting a little bit of um it's sinking into our post there, so 0.15 perhaps. Yep, and then we'll go back to our torus, and we should be able to get the radius. There we go. So, if I go back there, turn that poly bevel on, go back to our thing here. We zoomed in, so I adjusted the radius here to shrink it down so it's not so big. So when we go to transform, we just now need to adjust this back up. So there we go, we've got a very simple rope here. So what we'll do is we want to um, just move these up here um, so we can uh, manually do this because it's not something that we really want to change. Um, so what we'll do is we'll just um, so rope post one. Um, so what we'll do here is we will move our rope up here, so looking at the picture again, and we will, just thinking what we get, we'll use a copy, transform, um, because we just want this to move slightly up, and then can do that so we've got three ropes there probably want them intersecting a bit more so 0.7 and um, yeah so we've got a little bit of randomization there we could perhaps do a tiny bit of rotation or is that going to be yeah so what we can do there is we add a little bit of rotation here that when we texture it it all won't look the same um, so put that as you see back there all of the lines line up spot on with each other so what we can do is we can rotate it and just do it like that so you can see they're not all, all identical and um, there we go so actually I might, might even do that a bit more and um, so then obviously we need the two ropes up here so what we can do is just say we can copy this again and we'll shift this right up to the top I'll just turn off snap in there right up the top and again you use the Copy trans. Actually, I might as well just copy that across because it's going to be pretty much the same. And we only want two that time. So then we can merge these together. Right click merge. And there she is. And plug those in. And then we can do another merge. And plug those in. And we should. There we go, have a simple post with a simple rope. Um, so now looking at that, we will um, probably leave it there. Um, so we've done a, a very simple thing. We've got our little curve here. Um, actually, yeah, what we'll do is we will add our posts to our curve. So um, what we'll do is we will select all of these and then just click this button up here, create a subnetwork. And it's not subnetwork, what was it? network box sorry sub networks something else and um, we'll name this post and so what we're going to do here now is we'll drag that up is we want to copy the post just to the end points of our curve here so turn the points on by clicking this icon here and this icon and what we want to do is we want to drag off of the resample group and we'll select by range and we want to drop that down, select points, and then we want the start and the end points. You can see here these two aren't 
uh, are blue, and then we'll invert it so it's selecting only those two. So now what we want to do is we will move this to the side here. We'll name this uh, group start end, and again grp start end, and we'll blast this. So blast. So that's going to delete in theory. When we select our group on the drop down here, that is going to delete non selected. So now here we've just got a straight lines, but that doesn't matter because we only need it to copy to our points here. So what I'll do is I'll just tidy this up a bit. And what we're going to do is then do a copy to points. And so we want these to be the target points, this to be the target geometry. So now when we click on that, we have our two posts. So we'll just turn the points off. So we've got our two point posts at either end. And what we can do um, perhaps a little bit later on is that we can uh, randomize the rotation. So it's it's rotating randomly that way a little bit and randomly this so that they don't look um, identical in geometry. Now, obviously we, uh, later on we want two of these. Um, what I might do is I might dictate the width of this by a line so that we can shift this all all across if we need to make the bridge wider etc so what we'll do in the next tutorial is we'll look at say creating the rope that goes across here and perhaps add in the planks um, as well so see you in the next part